What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're doing something a little different uh, We are comparing Fight Night Champion on the PS3 against the Xbox One Because obviously PlayStation haven't had Fight Night since the PS3 when it was released in 2011 And then Xbox One got the Fight Night Champion like pour over in 2018 So I thought I would compare the two and see, because sometimes when I play Fight Night on the PS3, it feels a little bit slow, it feels a little bit uh, rugged. And sometimes when you play the Xbox One, it looks a lot better. Now, whether or not that's just because it's a newer console, I don't really know. But I've recorded the full walkouts as well as um, rounds of fights and obviously finishing sequences as well. I let the AI play. I wasn't bothered about playing. So I was like, AI, AI go ahead. Obviously, you guys can see at the top left, we have... Uh, the PS3 Final Champion, and the bottom right, the Xbox One. So I just my my main thing was: is it a complete port over? Does the game look better? Did they touch it up for the Xbox? Sometimes when playing on the Xbox, I do feel like they have touched it up, and it does look a little bit better. But looking at these side by sides, it really looks like the exact same gameplay. And that sounds stupid because it is the exact same game, but it's seven years apart. And the PS3 and the Xbox One are two gen two gens of consoles apart. So obviously, my thought process was just the fact that. The Xbox One must have at least been touched up. Now, while it does feel smoother, and I suppose the biggest thing for the Xbox One is, of course, the servers. Because the PS3 servers are pretty much a barren wasteland at the moment. While a few people still do play, the PlayStation 3 online as a whole is pretty dead. Um, unless you're playing like a Call of Duty. But games like this are kind of pushed to the wayside here. Um, also, you can see I lined the starts up at, uh, perfectly at the start. But the Xbox One has become slightly faster, as you guys can see there. Now I thought I'd show you guys the last 30 seconds of each round. The first one is the PS3, the next one is the P um, is the Xbox One, sorry. It uh, doesn't mean there's going to be a knockout or nothing here, just I thought I'd just show you guys the last 30 seconds of each so you guys can kind of see. Admittedly, when recording it and looking back, the PS3 doesn't actually look that bad. Like I said, the biggest thing for the Xbox that it has going for it is obviously the fighter share is better, the online is far better, the console is newer. So, of course, it is just, it runs smoother. The PS3 one does tend to jitter quite a bit. Admittedly, haven't had that issue for quite a while. Um, one thing I will say as well is I recorded this fight quite a few times on both consoles to just try and get one. The Muhammad Ali on Xbox is fucking violent. On the PS3, they don't, they don't throw as much. But holy hell, on the Xbox one, he is throwing. Like, non he like, drains his stamina like fuck on the Xbox. I don't know if it's just coincidence, but every time I recorded the Xbox one, he was throwing leather. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the finishing sequences of both. Obviously, the first we've got the PlayStation, then I'll show you guys the Xbox, and then we'll put a side by side. Main thing I want to hear is your guys' thoughts. Do you think this was just literally a port over really quick, or does the game look slightly touched up? Because I feel like it's more, like I said, servers, but it's also more feeling. Uh, on the Xbox, it feels slightly smoother than it does on the PlayStation. The PlayStation can sometimes feel a bit rugged. Um, definitely feels 2011, um, whereas the Xbox obviously feels 2018. It feels a bit smoother uh, on, on the Xbox than it does the PS3. But just visually, I was obviously recording and watching. I was like, yep, you know, it's hard to tell because you're not doing a side-by-side -side in real time. Obviously, I'm recording the PS3, then I'm unplugging the HDMI, and I'm um, I'm turning it off, then I'm putting it into my Xbox, and then I'm turning the Xbox on, loading up Final Fantasy Champion, getting my Elgato ready, and then I'm recording. So for me, I'm like, oh yeah, the Xbox One looks far, far better. But it really doesn't seem to be like that. Looking at it from this side-by-side -side thing, obviously I'll show you guys the side-by-side -side of the final sequence as well um, at the end of the video. But in all honesty, it doesn't really feel like I'm like completely shocked, and like it, it doesn't look seven years apart. Of course, like I said, it is just a carryover. Um, but when you play it, and I often see people do say, you know, that the Xbox One looks far better. I don't really know, doing this side by side, if that is in fact the case. Um, th they they kind of look the same, like maybe the, the Xbox One's got a little bit more light, a little bit more texture to it. Um, and like I said, it feels smoother as a whole, but doesn't really look mind-blowing, like as if the PS3 one looks like shit and this one looks mind-blowing. They, they both look pretty decent for the year they came out in. Um, of course, like I said, the PlayStation 1 and the original Xbox 360 run dropping uh, March 2011, I believe. And then uh, I believe the Xbox One port was like September time in 2018. Um, you know, so both, you know, the original released quite a while ago and uh, this released not, not too far um, ago. But, you know, 
still, it's uh, there's a lot to there's a lot to look at. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well, because you know I've just been thinking about it for ages. Like the last couple of weeks, I've been like, is the Xbox One really that much better? You know, is the PS3 one just not even worth playing? Um, but I think you know it's servers and it's just the way the game feels. And then we've got the side by side of the uh, finishing sequences on both the PlayStation and the Xbox here. Um, obviously the drops aren't like in perfect time with one another because obviously you know they they're dropped in different situations. One thing I will say is the the Ali right hand um, in both first knockdowns uh, pretty much landed in the same place through the same way, which is pretty uh, pretty cool. But you know, side by side, I'd probably say the Xbox One, like I said, visually looks slightly better, maybe a bit brighter, which is quite nice. You know, we obviously don't want dark, dingy boxing games, but I said it looks a little bit lighter. But I wouldn't say, you know, completely, um, completely mind-blowingly different. It was really cool to do this comparison, to be honest, and record both, because like I said, man, when I record it, it's hard for me to actually tell which one is, uh, you know, which one's better when I'm, obviously, you know, I'm probably taking about 15, 20 minutes between each to, you know, unplug my Xbox or unplug the PS3 and stuff and, and record and edit and that. So it's always hard to see. And I just thought, you know what, if I'm going to do a comparison with it, I'll make a video on it and you guys can see, you know. Um, because obviously I get people who ask me to fight on PS3 and the only thing with the PS3 is it's just the servers are a bit shitty. That That's literally it, you know. So it's not exactly like the PS3 one sucks ours because as you can tell it really doesn't. It looks good. It just feels a little bit stiffer than the Xbox one. But other than that, I don't really have any issues with either of them. You know, I don't really believe in the whole Xbox versus PlayStation war. I'm a PlayStation guy, but the Xbox Fight Night port is definitely far better. Um, but, you know, I just thought to show you guys this. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your, your thoughts are in the comments down below. Was it just a, a quick port over, or do you feel like, you know, if you've played both, do you feel like, you know, Xbox definitely, EA definitely touched it up a little bit for the Xbox um, One port over? Let me know in the comments down below. But thanks as always for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.